Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a first impressions of a whole bunch of new makeup and OG faves that I used to love that I'm pulling back out. So it's new makeup plus old makeup. So it'll be almost like brand new makeup to me because I don't remember how I feel about it. Anyway, if you're excited for this video, you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you are not already, and let's just get into this. I'm going to throw on some Milani eyeshadow primer. I can't remember the last time I used this, and Emily Noel swears by this primer, so I picked it up at Walmart, and I have to give it a try. She swears by it and never strays from this. She always uses it, so I'm just going to put that on. Use my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. You have to get this sponge, plus the Shop Miss A $1 sponge. That one's amazing, but this one it's two, and it's more readily available than the Shop Miss A one, and that feels velvety soft, I have to say. So for brows today, I'm just gonna stick to a brow powder. I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo, and I chose Medium Brown. And I should have chose dark brown, I think. Oh no, I think this will work. It has a little mirror. Brow powder I found is a more natural look. And I know Tati swears by brow powder now, so I had to give it a try. At least give it a try. I think Scott Barnes had told her brow powder. So now I'm like, ooh, I have to try that. I used to use the Wet n Wild one, but I want to see how this one performs compared to that. It's a little tough to do. It takes forever for brow powder. It's easy to use. I mean, it's just powder. There's no gel in here or anything to keep the brow set. So you guys know I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. wow brow, or brow wow, whatever it is. So that's what one brow looks like, I'm gonna go do the other one. So do you guys see what I mean? It looks a lot more natural. You can see the sparseness in between. It looks more hair-like, just more natural. This is the e.l.f. wow brow in brunette. I'm just going to set my brows because there is no um, wax in that kit to kind of keep the brows in place. And I really love this brow, wow brow, because it adds the fibers and it gives the, um, the brow some fluff, if you will. So I have a new palette I want to go in with. It is the Smashbox Covershot Ablaze Eye Palette. So it just looks like this, and it looks really pretty, and I just want to play with that. So if you guys want to see me do this eye look, stay tuned. As per usual, I will always do one eye on camera and one eye off for you. Tell me, do you guys prefer me with brows on camera when I first come on camera, or brows and one eye if I'm doing an eye tutorial? Let me know down below, because I'm always curious. I'm just going to set with this brow bone color right here, just a tiny bit. So this will be our brow bone highlight. Nice. I'm going to take this transition shade because it's the only matte besides the dark brown. This honestly looks just like the Pac-Man uh, shade, the Jeffree Star shade, as well as the Physician's Formula shade. It's like this terracotta shade. Easy to blend. And I like that. So for all over the lid, I want to do, first of all, I'm gonna take this dark shade and just put it over here. It doesn't perform like super dark. It just looks like a copper. I like to put shimmers on the outside of the eye. Then I'm gonna go into my Sigma E25 and take the darkest brown here and just pop that on the outer corner. This is messy. It's got a lot of fallout, as you can see. 
but don't worry, we'll clean that up. I'm just feathering in the rest onto the inner half. It'll look worse before it looks better. I'll fix that off camera. All right, and for the inside of the eye, I'm going to take, let's take this gold shade and just place that on our inner third. It's a spicy looking shade. I like it. And to blend that all in, I'm just going to take that dark brown shade and kind of do some shimmying to blend this all together. So this is our simple eye look. I will be right back. All right, so I am going to be putting on false lashes, but that's going to be toward the end. But I have to say, um, I just went in with the Ilia Mascara, one measly coat. And I feel like it gave me heaps and heaps of length and volume. Um, so if you have not tried that brand, you need to try that mascara. I also stand by their powder with the SPF 20. They're a clean brand, a Sephora, completely cruelty free. And that mascara just like blew me away. It was just one coat. So it looks like this. It says Ilia on it. I'm shocked. <laughs> Okay, just getting that out of the way. I am shocked. I'm going to be spritzing my Smashbox primer water on my face for a primer. And then I'm going to be going in with my Tatcha Silk Canvas in my T-zone and that's gonna be our primer. I just found something, Ilia, the brand, they sent me almost their whole line of makeup and they sent me this brow, essential brow, natural volumizing brow gel. So you can hear that it has a little ball in it. And here is the wand, it's very small. So it's kind of like my brow. It's getting messy just because my brows are not naturally voluminous, but I can see it giving heaps and heaps of, you know, texture to the brow. I'll have to fix this after, but I'm just kind of, this is my first time using it, showing you if you have full brows already, you know, this is going to give you that fluffed up look. If I put it up like this, it'll give you loads and loads of natural fluff in the brow. It's my first time using it. I really like it. Um, the wand is just a little too thick for my brows. But once I learn how to work it, I'm sure it'll be much better. And I also only have a powder in, so keep that in mind. But yeah, I like that natural-ish brow look. I will fix this part and be right back. I am low-key living for this brow look. I like that texture that the Ilia gave me. I really do. I think you guys should try it. So I'm going to be going back in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte um, foundation from the drugstore. Brides ask me to use this on them all the time. It is so long lasting. It doesn't settle into the pores. It doesn't emphasize texture. It is truly a very long lasting foundation and I'm in between 104.5 and 107 so I'm just gonna kind of wing it and add a little bit of each to the hand. I hope you guys enjoy my videos and I hope you appreciate the full face of physician's formula that I just did. That was a challenging video and I had to spend a lot of money to make it. Of course I had some products but Physician's formula is not cheap in any way. <laughs> Using my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge, I'm going to blend this out. I think I created my perfect color. 
is going to keep us matte throughout the hot summer day. I like to be a little more matte in the summer just because um, I get oily in my T-zone. I get combo skin and I sweat a lot. So I think this is going to really stand up. This lasts through sweating and humidity, heat. All those claims about this are true. And so brides trust it and they actually ask me to use it on them for their wedding day over high-end foundations. So that covered absolutely everything. All my texture, every single thing it covered. I look beautiful. That finish is so so gorgeous it's not cakey it's not too full coverage it's not over the top not sticking into fine lines it just looks healthy radiant but full coverage but not mask like so low-key living for that right now i am obsessed with my complexion going along with the l'oreal train i'm going to be using the full wear brush wear infallible concealer and I know this is really full coverage so I'm not gonna apply a ton plus we've got some full coverage on the face going on so I don't want to look crazy and for all my new subscribers who haven't seen my older videos they haven't seen me use this on my channel yet so Using it now, it's one of my favorites, Holy Grails, for a concealer besides the Collab Concealer and I love the Catrice Waterproof Concealer. That one's so good. It's only five bucks. But look how full coverage this is. Like, seriously. And it's drugstore. At this point, I'm going to take my CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder and I'm going to take a dry sponge and set that under eye area. This is going to give us coverage a little bit and just a small tiny bit. It's super lightweight under the eye. You guys saw my best of drugstore press powders and this is one that I truly trust and it mattifies while brightening. With the Fresh Wear, or not Fresh Wear, Infallible Pro Matte, I don't find I need to powder the face, that it's self-setting, if you get my drift. So I'm not gonna be setting the rest of the face. I'm just going to leave it as is. And for the lower lash line, I'm gonna be taking this mauve shade in the palette, and I'm just going to fluff this underneath that is pigmented more pigmented than I anticipated, so I'll cap off the brush. I'm going to go put some Ilia mascara on and I'll be right back. I'm gonna use this Hard Candy Stroke of Gorgeous liner in my lower waterline. This stuff does not move or budge. Pretty amazing. I'm tight line my upper waterline. So there we go with that. Okay, let's move on. I have some new products to share with you for bronzer. I also found this bronzer. Um, it's called Bronze Please La Terra Bronzer in the new section. It's got some embossed um, like Hawaiian leaves or looks like forest leaf, like rainforest leaves or something, tropical. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, but in, in these bronzers, it doesn't translate to the face. So I'm finding that this is going on super, super nice, not patchy. It's a really nice shade. It's very smooth. I like to bronze my chin. I'll bring it down the neck, make it all look cohesive. This is very nice. It's probably limited edition. So I reckon that this will not be at the drugstore for very long. I would 
pick this up if I were you. It's so pretty. You know, well, it does have a nice fruity scent. It smells like fruit stripes gum. I'm just going to bronze the nose a little. I'm trying to do tons of drugstore and incorporate some high end at the same time to sort of please all audiences, if that makes sense. All right, for blush, I saw this hard candy palette at Walmart and I saw this blush and this highlight and there's a glowy bronzer in there, but I just wanted to give this a try and uh, I can't open it, so I'll be right back. So looking at this blush and feeling it, it feels like a cream almost, but it's like a powder. I am confused, but it looks really glowy and really, really beautiful. It's almost like a Carly scent, scent, Carly shade, Corly. Um, but yeah, let's try this out. I'm intrigued. It's called Afterglow. I'm just using my Sephora blush brush and applying this. This is pretty. So it's almost like a cream blush. I think it's super gorgeous. And you can see it right there. If I'm back here, you can definitely see it. It's nice and uh, glowy. Almost like if you didn't want to wear a highlighter, you could totally wear this. Okay, for highlighter, I'm going to be going into these two right here. This one's a little bit shimmery and this one's less shimmery, but I'm just, these are creams, I think, honestly. Like they're so soft cream. I don't know. This is the most interesting formula I think I've ever come across. When put on the hand, they feel like a cream, but then putting them on, they're very powder-like. So the formula is actually really, truly amazing because you don't get that um, powdery look. I'm almost going to use my fingertips and try that. And then blend with a sponge. I'll try a sponge and I'll dip it in. Okay, that makes it way more glowy. I honestly think this is a cream but it's, you can get away with this using a brush. If you have a light hand, that is so beautiful and stunning. This is almost like the Kosas highlight. Have any of you heard of the Kosas highlight? Very expensive. This was so inexpensive. I think it was like $6 for this whole entire thing. I can't, Okay, these are all powders. So this would look like a contour powder, sort of a bronzy powder. And this looks like a highlight too. Let's just add that on top. Okay. Watch the transformation. How blinding is that? Stunning. You guys, hard candy is so underrated. Oh my word. Look how stunning. I'm going to use this for my inner corner, the shade. It is beautiful. Putting that on my brow bone. Um, I highly recommend this palette. I'm so glad I picked it up. Just gorgeous. I'm stunned. That performs like a high end. It, it, it feels like it's high end because it's the cream and kind of powder it's so unique it's blowing my mind it's so so beautiful so I lined my lips with the Colourpop Lumiere um, lip liner and I'm going in with the physician's formula the healthy lip in all-natural nude oh these formulas are so good in this color is so divine it's such a beautiful nude. Oh my goodness. Okay, so obviously you saw in my Physician's Formula One Brand tutorial this glowy setting spray, Rosé All Day Illuminating Setting Spray. 
I don't know if I need it. Um, I want to just try one spray. Two sprays. To let us look glowy. And then I'm going to take the Urban Decay D-Slick. And set us up for a whole day of lasting, flawless foundation. Our face looks perfect. I like that palette. I don't think it's necessary to buy unless you really like warm tones like that. So it's basically all I could do. I'm not even going to go in with false lashes, honestly. Um, I can build up the Ilia mascara and come back and we'll see how it looks. All right, so I built it up and I just added some Renaissance Flick from Makeup Revolution, the liquid liner, and this is our final look. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you like these sort of like OG faves and new things type of videos, hit the thumbs up button so I know to do more of them. Otherwise, I would love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye.